Hey guys, hi Facebook. I'm going live to not talk about the coronavirus. I thought we could talk about some other things. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe. We're all sitting home, so I thought I would come on and just chit chat with you guys. Um, what I want to talk about, I'm going to talk about, is um, some game changing CBD products. Yes, CBD. Um, that I think are just going to blow your mind because they are blowing my mind. Okay, I don't even have them yet, but I have to tell you about what the company just released and what they developed. If anybody hops on, just say hi, let me know you're there. Okay, so the, um, we came out with CBD Soft Gels. Hi, Michelle. CBD soft gels are vegetarian. They're broad spectrum CBD. Hi Connie, hi Jill. That, which means they have zero THC, but all the other beneficial cannabinoids. They are, um, there are 25 milligrams of CBD per soft gel, 30 of them for a total of 750 milligrams in the whole um, jar bottle. Now, the first one, we have combined CBD with some amazing, amazing, amazing compounds. The first one is CBD and melatonin. Now, I can't show you the bottle, but I can show you a picture of the bottle. If you can see it, I don't know if it's reversed for you guys. CBD and melatonin soft gels. This is to help with sleep, even more than CBD helps with sleep. As we all know that melatonin helps regulate the circadian rhythm and helps you um, fall asleep and wake up feeling refreshed. Um, CBD itself also helps support healthy serotonin levels. So the combination of these two working together should be really, really, really great for promoting sleep. Now, the ones I'm like the other two, I'm so excited about. CBD and coffee berry extract. Okay, coffee berry extract. I first heard about coffee berry extract over two years ago and I was amazed. What I learned is that it comes from the rainforest and the coffee plant itself, the seed, hi Lori, hi Tina, um, the seed is what we roast and grind and make, that's where we get coffee but the plant actually has a pulp or a fruit. Traditionally, they threw this away until they studied it and they found out that this coffee berry, the fruit pulp part of the plant has amazing, amazing health benefits. Um, it has, all right, it supports the brain in so many ways. I'm gonna give you a little background. Our coffee berry, um, CBD and coffee berry extract has CBD in it, which we all know CBD is a neuroprotectant. It protects our nervous system and our brains. Hi, Dory. Hi, Michelle. And the coffee berry plant, also a derivative of that is called Neurofactor. It's a patented profile of polyphenols that have been shown to support the production of BDNF. What's BDNF? It's something you really, really, really need. It's called brain-derived neurotrophic factor. It's the growth hormone, the youth hormone for the brain. So, and this, from the, um, this comes from the coffee plant, this neurofactor and coffee berry. So our CBD and coffee berry has 25 milligrams of CBD per soft gel, 100 milligrams of neurofactor, and 100 milligrams of coffee berry. This is a powerhouse. I mean, I'm gonna start taking this as soon as it comes in. I've already ordered it, I can't wait to get it. Let me just tell you about this coffee berry plant because when I did the research, um, I at first learned about it when I took an, a course on Alzheimer's and prevention of Alzheimer's. So I updated my research and I'm gonna share with you what I read about the coffee berry plant. It is the most powerful natural antioxidant, better than white tea, blueberries, and pomegranates. Ours comes from, let me just read it from what um, 
our website says it comes from it's sourced from farms certified by the Rainforest Alliance. I can guarantee you that my Daily Choice Hemp Works only partners with high quality farms with high level testing and ingredients. So this comes from certified um, farms certified by the Rainforest Alliance. They're carefully se selected and picked um, premium Arabica coffee cherries. That's where our coffee berry comes from. Now, the coffee berries benefits, health benefits. You can apply them topically and they are an antioxidant. They can soak up the damaging free radicals caused by ultraviolet light on your skin and which can help reduce the formation of wrinkles. This is just coffee berry in general. Ours is in a capsule form, so it's not topical. Um, it can also be used topically as an anti-inflammatory and treat things like contact dermatitis and eczema. When they are consumed, like in our soft gels, I'm reading this because it's a detailed um, study that I was looking at, it can neutralize toxic free radicals throughout the body. And there's also some data that says it can help protect against coronary artery disease. I'm gonna go into that later on. Um, it may also help with cholesterol. This is what all the studies said. It may also help protect against Alzheimer's and asthma and has a positive effect on blood sugar. These natural products do so many different things because they work in so many different ways, different than a pharmaceutical, which only works on one target specific area. So as a food supplement, this stuff is amazing. Now, one of the things that we used to think, and when I went to school back in the day, we learned that only children's brains were um, able to regenerate or become what they call neuroplastic. Like when we worked with someone who had some type of brain damage or brain disorder, children, we, we would do therapy so that we could train other pathways to take over for something that um, was damaged. And we only thought, we thought this ended once you got to adolescence and adulthood, that it was, it was only true for children. Recently, we have learned that this neuroplasticity or the ability to regenerate nerve cells, grow new brain cells, and retrain pathways is possible through our entire life, birth to death. So that's really, really good news. And it's changed rehab, it, just incredible. We've made leaps and bounds with that. So with that being said, you have to realize that one of the things that happens as we age is that we lose brain cells, particularly in the hippocampus, which is the memory center. That's what shrinks when people are diagnosed with Alzheimer's or dementia. So there were studies that when you increase this BDNF, that brain-derived neurotrophic factor, that growth hormone, that's what causes someone is sending something to my printer. That's what causes brain cells to regenerate. You need this BDNF. Now, another there's another way you can increase that, and that's aerobic exercise. Numerous animal and human research studies prove that aerobic exercise, exercise causes a significant increase in BDNF. So consequently, it increases the growth of new cells in the hippocampus and increases memory. So aerobic exercise, phenomenal. Now, in another study in um, food and nutrition science, sciences, they um, took people and gave them this coffee berry fruit powder and they gave some a placebo and they measured the BDNF in their blood and they found that the ones that took the coffee berry doubled their BDNF levels versus those that took the placebo. Another study in um, the British Journal of Nutrition were, um, gave a single 100 milligram dose of whole coffee fruit extract. One single dose. Now remember I said our one soft gel has 100 milligrams. Um, oh, maybe not one, I'm not sure. But I think one, yes, one. One soft gel has 100 milligrams. You can get it, 100 milligrams of coffee berry. So they gave one dose in this study to a group of volunteers and they observed 
a 143% increase in their blood value of BDNF. So they, you know, obviously said that take, you know, taking this dramatically increases that level. And they feel that it's a, it's a very powerful product in determining your brain's destiny that if you keep increasing the levels of your BDNF, then you could prevent deterioration of your brain, which is really, really important as we age. So that is our coffee berry, the CBD and coffee berry extract. Now we have one more soft gel that's coming out. I'm gonna get you a picture of it in a second. CBD and curcumin. Now, curcumin comes from, you know, turmeric, which is like a super duper antioxidant. Um, it has one soft gel, has 25 milligrams of CBD and 50 milligrams of the turmeric root extract, which is the curcumin. Um, turmeric has been a part of traditional medicine for over 4,000 years and supports multiple areas of health. It supports healthy joints, it supports healthy energy levels, and a healthy immune system. Huh. We all know how important that is right now, more than ever. And the synergistic effect of it working with CBD and um, the curcumin is gonna have incredible health benefits because CBD itself has antioxidants powers, neuroprotective powers. I could go on and on about CBD as I have in the past, but I want to talk about curcumin. It's been studied. You've all heard about um, taking turmeric supplements. I mean, you can't take the one, you know, that you use on food. It's not a, a pure enough form. You need a higher grade um, medicinal level, natural supplement form. But it causes a variety of biochemical properties in your body antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, antifungal, and anti antibacterial. It has all of those activities in it. Now, again, this also has been shown to cause a significant rise in that BDNF level. Again, for your brain, brain-derived neurotropic factor, the growth hormone for the brain. Curcumin also increases those levels. But I would say, the most powerful effect it has is anti-inflammatory. So I found a bunch of research articles on it. So everything I'm telling you is backed by research. And if you want those articles, I can send them to you. But I'm gonna try to highlight what the scientists have tested and what they found is true with curcumin. Um, you all know I talk about inflammation. Low-level inflammation is necessary. We need it. That's what fights infection. It should be low-level and short-term. But chronic inflammation is is the big evil. It's it's really the cause of almost every major chronic disease that we have: heart disease, cancer, metabolic syndrome, Alzheimer's, um, diabetes. It, it, chronic inflammation is bad. So you want to do anything and everything you can to reduce chronic inflammation. And that's what curcumin does. It's a super strong anti-inflammatory. And in one of the tests, one of the studies, it was found to match some of the prescription anti-inflammatory drugs, drugs without the side effects that those drugs come with, oftentimes. It reduces inflammation at the molecular level, which is where you want to get it, right at the source. Okay. It's also, we talked about the anti-inflammatory, antioxidant. Now, oxidation, we talk about like free radicals. That's all the stuff we're exposed to in our environment. Harmful stuff does damage to our cells. Curcumin is a potent antioxidant which neutralizes those free radicals so they can't wreak havoc on our body and, and cause disease. It will block the free radicals it does two things. It blocks the free radicals directly, and it also stimulates our own body's antioxidant defenses to kick in. So it's a double whammy, two punch way that it increases the antioxidant effects. 
another study, again, I'm going back to where it boosts the BDNF, the brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Oh, see, Michelle, you, that's so cool. She just said there's a doctor in Oregon that treats cervical cancer by applying curcumin directly on the cervix. It's that powerful. It's true. You go to a naturopathic doctor, and this is the stuff they are going to be giving you. All right, so let me go back to the BDNF. It's the growth hormone, the youth hormone for the brain. And um, many, they found that many diseases of the brain, like Alzheimer's and depression, are linked to a decreased level of BDNF in our blood. So you can extrapolate from that what that means. But curcumin increases that level, which may prevent delay, reverse any of these age-relating dysfunctions of the brain. It may improve your memory. It's not gonna hurt to try it. That's the great thing about these things. Another study talked about curcumin lowering your risk of heart disease. So when it comes to heart disease, there's a lot of causes. It's caused by a lot of different things. And it's very complicated, the reason why people get heart disease, and there's all different reasons why one person gets it versus another. But with one of the main benefits of curcumin is it improves the function of the endothelium, which is the lining of your blood vessels. And we all know that the lining of the blood vessels gets damaged, that's where the plaque can sit in those damaged areas, and build up and block your blood vessels. So it's a main driver of, of heart disease, the, the health of your lining of your blood vessels. And curcumin improves the function of the lining of the blood vessels. It also, let's see, there's studies about it that um, it's as effective as exercise and another study shows it works as well as atorvastatin, which is a, a lot of people take that for high blood pressure to prevent damage to the lining of their blood vessels. So two studies showed it was as effective as um, curcumin was as, as effective as those two things. I also talked about it reducing inflammation and oxidation. Those play a role in heart disease. So that's another way that it helps prevent heart disease. Um, they also talked about a study of 121 people that were undergoing coronary artery bypass and they were given either placebo or four grams of curcumin per day before and after the surgery. And that group had a 65% decreased risk of experiencing a heart attack in the hospital, which unfortunately is, um, happens often after people have bypass surgery. So they had a decreased risk just by taking that little bit of curcumin. Now, another study said that it can help prevent and maybe even treat cancer. This study, you know, there's numerous types of cancer, but they have several things in common um, that, you know, uncontrolled cell growth. Curcumin is been found in another study, it says to affect cancer growth and development and spread at the molecular level. It can contribute to the death of cancerous cells and, re and reduce the growth of new blood vessels and tumors and metastases, the spread of cancer. That was another study. And multiple studies indicate that it can reduce growth of cancer cells in the laboratory and inhibit the growth of tumors in test animals. So they, they obviously haven't done a lot of human trials. I don't know. That one was done on animals and in the lab. Um, there's evidence it can prevent cancer from occurring in the first place, especially cancers of the digestive system, like colorectal cancer. Um, and they did a study on men. So they're saying that it may be used in conjunction with traditional treatments and anything to me that can be used to prevent cancer that isn't gonna hurt me, I'm there, I'm trying it. Also, preventing and treating Alzheimer's disease. Well, we already talked a little bit about that, that you know, there's no treatment for Alzheimer's disease, so the best thing to do is prevent it. Prevention is key. So um, curcumin has been proven to cross the blood-brain barrier. Now, not everything crosses a blood-brain barrier. That's why it's there. There's a, nature gave us this barrier to protect our brain from toxic 
chemicals and toxic compounds to get into the brain. So it's tough to pass through that blood-brain barrier. CBD passes through it and curcumin passes through it. So then you know it's inflammatory, anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects can be applied to the brain since it crosses that barrier. Um, also, you've heard about the amyloid plaques that they see in Alzheimer's. There was a study, studies, more than one, that show that curcumin can help clear these plaques. So they will continue to study that. I talked about the BDNF increasing that uh, growth hormone for the brain. Arthritis. This is probably one of the main reasons why I see people taking turmeric supplements and curcumin. Arthritis, there's many different types, but basically it's all categorized by inflammation in the joints, pain, which causes a lot of pain. Because it's a potent anti-inflammatory, it makes sense that it's gonna help with arthritis, and several studies have been done that prove that. Um, with rheumatoid arthritis, curcumin was even more effective than one of the anti-inflammatory prescription medicines that are often prescribed. And, um, they noted improvements in many other symptoms. Pain relief through the anti-inflammatory effects on the joints. It also, I thought this was interesting, has incredible, incredible benefits against depression. Many of us suffer from depression. And I think especially now, maybe even more of us being locked in our homes, fearful, anxious, we don't know what's going on. So um, they did randomized trials where they gave people Prozac, and another group they gave curcumin and Prozac, and another group they gave just curcumin. And after six weeks, the curcumin group had improvements that were equal to the group that took Prozac. And the group that took Prozac and curcumin did even better than any of the other groups. Because depression has also been linked, besides um, a problem with serotonin levels, it's also been linked to reduced levels of BDNF and a shrinking hippocampus. This has been proven to be seen in depression. And that's the center of the brain for learning and memory. Curcumin boosts those BDNF levels. Homeschool. Sorry. Potentially reversing some of these changes. And, and there's some evidence that it can boost the neurotransmitters of serotonin and dopamine. So all of this is being studied. And in summary, I think what a lot of this means is it can help delay and fight age-related chronic diseases. Because if it can help prevent heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, it's obviously gonna have benefits for longevity. But be, being an antioxidant, oxidation is what causes aging, and an anti-inflammatory, those, that again, plays another role in aging. That's another way that it can have um, effects on increasing longevity. So turmeric, in summary, and especially its most active compound, curcumin, which is in this soft gel, has many scientifically proven health benefits, like I talked about above. And, you know, when you're talking about heart disease, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, improving depression, arthritis, I mean, I, 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 just, I just think it's a no-brainer to me. I, my thing is, I have to decide how many of these I'm going to take um, because I want to take the coffee berry and I want to take the one with curcumin, but they each have 25 milligrams of CBD. I usually take about 25 to 30 milligrams of CBD a day. So I think this could um, potentially replace the second dose of the CBD tinctures, the CBD oil that I take morning and evening. I think that I will take um, the tincture in the morning and a soft gel at night. So now that, one of the other things you guys gotta watch for is now that CBD is, um, yes, Jill, these are available now. They're live on the website. They are available. And um, you have to be careful with CBD in everything that you're not giving too much. What'll happen if you get too much? To be honest with you, you get a little digestive upset, a little um, diarrhea. That's the worst thing that's gonna happen to you if you take too much CBD. So it's not bad, but it, it you know, you don't want that to happen. So. The average person needs really like a maximum of 60 milligrams of CBD a day. We don't need a lot. So knowing that you have 25 in a soft gel, there's 10 in a gummy, um, you know how many are in the um, CBD tinctures because I have the chart that I give you 
how many drops equal how many milligrams. You can keep track that way. So that's really important. And if you do purchase any of these items, I will guide you through and will help customize for you specifically what you should be taking and how much. Because the key with CBD is you start low and build up slowly. You do not need a lot. You know, we're, we're, we're Americans. We think more of everything is better. We supersize everything. That is not true with CBD. More is not better. You don't need a lot. That's why I start you low and we build up slowly and we stop where you feel the most benefit. That's your level. And that's different for everybody. And there's really no rhyme or reason. It doesn't matter. You know, your weight affects it, your metabolism, your genetics, your biochemistry, we're all different. But that doesn't mean somebody who's bigger needs more necessarily, or somebody who has more health problems needs more. I have found that that is not always true. That's why I work with each one of you individually to figure that out. So you know with CBD, it's really important to know where it's sourced. You know the quality. You know it has to be third-party tested. Independent, third-party tested. Hempworks is independent, independently third-party tested, tested by the gold standard of independent laboratories. Top scientists numerous times throughout the process, from the plant all the way to the processing in the bottle. And then it's reprocessed as it sits, uh, retested as it sits in the warehouse. It's continually tested. This company is the most reputable that I have found in ex excruciating detail and has the lab reports uh, transparent for everybody to, to see. So you can trust it. So you need a trusted source. And then you need somebody to guide you. If, if you do choose to buy it off the shelf, I don't think you're going to be able to go back in that store and have somebody, you know, address your issues and tell you how to take it. I mean, if you do, great. Hopefully they know what they're talking about. But get with somebody that you trust. So you know um, how much you need and what you should take. So these products are super exciting. The other thing they came out with is more flavors. We've had natural flavor, cinnamon, and peppermint were our only flavors, all natural. And now we have four more flavors, if I can remember them all, let's see. I think it's orange sunshine, watermelon mint. Um, help me out here, guys. What are the other ones? Something, oh, lemon lime. And something guava. What is it? Let me see if I can find it. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Strawberry guava. So we have four more flavors. So that's seven all together in all concentrations. In the 500 milligram, the 750 milligram concentration, and the 1500 milligram concentration. And in our full spectrum line, which has all the cannabinoids and all parts of the plant for the entourage effect, with 0.03% THC, below the legal limit, and our broad spectrum as well, which has all of the other benefits except that little bit of THC has been removed for people that are sensitive to it or for people who still need to be drug tested um, for their employment. Even though it's a tiny amount, we usually steer you toward the broad spectrum because we can't guarantee it won't show up on the lab test because we don't know what kind of tests they're doing. So in order to, to, to stay safe, we recommend the broad spectrum. But regardless now, our full and broad spectrum come in all the same flavors and all the same concentrations. And we're gonna have even more new products coming out next weekend and even more in April. So I'll come back on to tell you about those. So if anybody has a question, I'm trying to look if anybody else has a question. Let me see, yes, they're available now. Um, no side effects, Terry. There are no side effects to taking these. They're not like drugs. Um, your body will, will just excrete the excess. Oh, uh, let's see. Yes, 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 I can't wait to take them either. Hi, Bianca. <laughs> Michelle, I'll tell her you said hi. All right, guys, I don't see any other questions. If you do, just message me, because I'm super, super psyched about these things. Whoops. And yes, they are available for purchase now. I said before, Las Vegas is shut down like the rest of the world and our headquarters is in Las Vegas where everything is shipped from. So far they're open and they're shipping. They're 24 seven trying to get everything out. Um, it hasn't been impacted yet. I, I, I can't guarantee you that that's gonna continue. I hope and pray it does, but um, just so you know. Okay guys, message me if you have any questions. I can't wait to take them. And after I start taking them, I'll come back on in a, in a month or two and, and tell you how I'm doing. All right, stay safe. Praying for everybody, praying for everybody. 
to not get this illness, praying for your families, and pray that we are over this as a country and a world sooner than later. And for all of you people whose income has been affected, I am so sorry about that. Um, our company also has um, a way you can get into this company and get a little side gig working from home with zero investment, zero dollars, nothing. You can sign up for free and just start promoting and selling these products. They're amazing. They sell themselves and everybody needs them. So if you need some financial help, I can help you with that too. Our company is amazing and they've um, waived all the fees and purchase requirements to try and help those people that are stuck home without an income right now. Okay, I'm praying for everybody. That's all we can do. Love you all. Have a great day.